Hi, kindergartners. Today in science, we're going to read a story called Our Very Own Tree by Lawrence Lowry. We have a tree, my friend and I. One day, we were watching squirrels pick up acorns. That is, I was watching the squirrels. My friend was picking up leaves. After a while, we sat down under a big tree. We call it our tree. Of course, it does not really belong to us alone. It is in the park. It belongs to everybody, but no one minds if we call it ours. I don't remember what made us stop leaning against the tree and start looking at it, but that's what we did. We backed away and looked at the whole tree. It was really big. We came up very close to the trunk. We looked at the bark and put our hands on it. It felt rough. We looked at the branches. The big branches led our eyes to smaller ones. The smallest ones farthest from tr the trunk were twigs. Did we notice that about the tree we looked at outside our adopted tree? We noticed that too that the bark was rough. We noticed that the bigger branches led up to smaller branches and then even smaller branches were twigs. We noticed that too. We looked down at the roots. We scraped away a bit of the earth from one. We wanted to see if it really did go into the ground. Together, we looked at a leaf I picked up it was a red-brown color. We saw where the leaf had been attached to a twig. We poked the sharp ends with our fingers. We touched the smooth surface. We even smelled the leaf. Then we looked at an acorn my friend picked up. We felt the acorn too. Bit by bit, we looked over the whole tree. The more we looked, the more we understood that there was much to see. What kind of tree is it? My mother asked us when we stopped by my house. My friend looked at me and I looked at her. We didn't know. So we looked at a book about trees. We tried to find a picture of a tree that looked like ours. Finally, we found one. Next to the picture were the words, oak tree. That's how we found out that our tree is an oak tree. The pictures in the book gave us something new to notice. Our tree was different from others in many ways. Each time we said anything about the tree, we called it our tree. Is it your tree? My mother asked. Yes, I said. It is now, said my friend. And it was, at least we made believe it was, that oak tree and that part of the park became our special place. One day we were drawing little faces on some acorns. That started us on something new. What were acorns? What were they for? We wondered about that. We found out all right, acorns were seeds. Inside each one was the beginning of a tiny oak tree. When acorns fall, some of them get covered with earth and grow. At first they are small plants, then they grow and grow and grow. It takes years and years for a tiny oak to become a big tree. Some tiny oak trees are growing near our big oak. Will we ever see them as big trees? Another day we tried to see the tree change. We knew that living things change. Our tree was living, so how did it change? And could we actually see those changes taking place? We watched carefully. We saw leaves drop. We saw a bird peck a hole in the tree, but mostly nothing happened while we were watching. The changes happened very slowly. I drew pictures 
of the way our tree looked during the year. My friend printed a story under each picture. In the fall, the leaves on our oak tree turn from green to brown. Then they get dry and fall off. All winter, the branches are bare. In the spring, new twigs and buds come and then new leaves. All summer, the branches are full of leaves. Our oak tree is a living thing and it is also a house. Have you ever heard of a living house? Our tree is a house for squirrels. They live in a hole where a big branch comes out from the trunk. It is too high for us to look into. We saw the squirrels go in though. Once I even saw a baby squirrel. An oak tree is a good place for squirrels to live. Besides being a house, an oak has food for squirrels, acorns. Birds too live in our tree. They build nests in the branches and live there in spring and summer. We could see the nests in winter after the birds had left. Did you know that a tree can get hurt? It can get well too. Once one of the lower branches of our tree was cracked. We could see an open cut where the crack was. A man came and cleaned it. Then he packed something into it. After a while, the tree got well. You can see a scar where the cut was, but the tree is all right again. It made me think of the cuts I've had on my knee. One day we wanted to make something with oak leaves. We took a few from the lower branches. We picked up most of them from the ground. We thought this was all right to do. We put the leaves between pages of a newspaper. When the leaves were dry and flat, we took them out. Then we made pictures with them. Another time we made decorations out of some twigs that had dropped. We have also written about our oak tree. I made a scrapbook about it for school. My friend wrote a poem about it. The oak, rustle, rustle go the leaves, patter, patter goes the rain. Plop, plop, go the acorns. Listen, listen to our tree. Oak leaves. We spend a lot of time near our oak tree. In the summer, we lie under the tree. We look up into the branches and leaves. We try to find a leafy branch that looks like a dog or a boat or a giant. Or in the fall, we pile up the leaves and jump in them. I like our oak best in winter. Then you can see the shape of the branches against the sky. Sometimes you can see hot snow piling up on the branches. My friend likes our oak in the spring. She also likes to listen to the wind in the tree just before a storm and to the sound of rain falling on the leaves. Maybe someday we will plant a tree ourselves. We might even get to like it as much as we like our adopted tree. And that's the end. There was a lot in this book that's very similar to what we're doing We've adopted a tree in my backyard. Maybe you've adopted a tree in your yard and we're going to see how those trees change over the course of the year. I hope you enjoyed the story. Have a wonderful day.